Okay, so today we're going to talk about volumes of revolution. And the particular method we're going to talk to is what we call the disks or washers method. And imagine we have the parabola y equals x squared. Or 4, y equals 4 minus x squared would look looks like this. We're going to take it and we're going to revolve it around the x-axis as such. And when we do it, we're going to come in here and we're going to put our dx here perpendicular to the axis of rotation. And the reason why this is important is it will help us define what x and y is and how we take the integrals for the different methods that we have available to us. So we're going to take it and we're going to rotate it around. So let's take a look at what this is going to look like. So here is my function. I have y equals x or 4 minus x squared. And I've put on the area underneath the curve only from 0 to 2. I know I want the whole volume. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take this area and I'm going to start to find the volume. And I'm going to rotate around y equals x. And you can see it start to build. Okay, and so you can see what's happening. It is rotating around, and the shape that it creates is a circle. And for that circle, we know the radius is equal to the height of the particular, if I go back here a little bit, the radius of my volume is, act, of my cylinder here, or washer, or disc, is going to be the function itself. And so as it goes around, oh, as it goes around, my volume will come around as such, making cir a circle, and we call, that's what we call this a disk or a washer method because we make all these washers. And when it's done, you see that we have these disks or washers. We add them all up, make this interval dx small, and we get the actual volume of revolution. And so to do it, I know I get these circles. And the area of a circle is pi r squared. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the integral from negative 2 to 2, which is the same as 0 to 2 times 2. So I'm just going to go from 0 to 2 and go rotate around the x-axis. And I know I have a circle, pi. My radius is equal to the function, which is 4 minus x squared squared dx. And this here makes the volume. So I have, here's my area of that circle, times the height, which is the volume. The area times that dx, which makes it a height, so I can find the actual volume of those little tiny pieces. As that dx goes towards zero, I get the entire volume. And so then I want to calculate this particular scenario here. Um, you can put this in your calculator, and you can get your final answer. And using your calculator for that, you'll get 107.23 to three is going to figure as 107 units cubed, putting this into your calculator. And there's the idea behind the disk or washer method.